this is like getting me more creeped out the more it's probably most likely oh that thank you oh. for the gift subs cosmic vix thank you so much that's really appreciated that really helps our channel and helps us support ourselves wait is it vix because you're a k-pop stan or is it just vix for something else just stacy's a k-pop stan i wouldn't say i'm a i'm a fan i don't know that i'm, that I'm dedicated enough to be a stan that's, it's, it's Do you, did you have BTS tickets? I did. Sadly, she had to cancel it. Well, but she had it's, them. It's postponed. I think that if you had BTS, I honestly, had I would, for BTS and if Monster you started X. tweeting with random clips of BTS dancing, I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> what is that about, though? They said you're welcome, guys. Love you, Vix. Because I'm a K-pop stan. Yes, I, I love a, Vix. I have a question. Okay. So people who are K-pop stands, whenever they say something, they just have a random clip of a K-pop person dancing. Oh, the K the K the fan cams. Yeah. What? What's the deal? This is like getting loud. What's the deal with that? Like, is that just like here's my point, and also I love dancing? Um, because when you get more views on a fan cam, it can be good for the like it's like exposure for your favorite artist. Oh, okay, okay. They want the views and promote their faves, yeah. Oh, okay. Also, Stan Luna. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's a K-pop group. To hide things from me. I'm in Lee I'm not stupid. I'm right, aren't I? I don't know what to say. I suppose he's just not sure. Radiation! Then why is he trying to hide it? Why? Am I on the right medicine? What could be done? Why won't he say? George has been distracted lately. Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks! How can anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that I know it's... what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn. <coughs> Look. Look, here. Your blood. I'm not being silly. It's not just me, Evelyn. If there's a leak, it's all of us. You cut off saying John as well. Um. Well, I think just John as well. I don't. Yeah. Like the, he's the 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 commander guy, right? So they're saying that if if there's a leak, all of us are sick, including him. I don't know, it just cut off saying that verbally, so if, in case somebody wasn't looking at the screen, they oh. would hear that. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request sent to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored, not a democracy. Meeting ended. Some people are pointing out the soundtrack. I kind of enjoy that it's like, it has this mix of like eerie, but also like wonder and discovery. It's not just straight up like horror suspense music, you know? Uh, virtually no short-term effects, some nausea. Oh, okay. Effects? Dose. Dose in Rowan 10... What? I don't Ro know. I think, is how it's usually... Ah, okay. Uh, don't you remember from watching uh, Chernobyl? 
Yeah, I know the word. I just can't always say things. Oh, no, I meant, like, I, that's how I remember the pronunciation. Uh, that's all. I wasn't trying to, yeah. 150 to 250, nausea and vomiting within 24 hours, some incapacitation after two days, some mortality. 250 to 350, uh, that word in under four hours, symptoms freeze, period, two days, two weeks, some mortality in two to four weeks, 350 to 600, N and V in under two hours. Nausea and hours. vomiting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Heavy mortality in two weeks, four weeks, incapacitation prolonged for survivor. Over 600, uh, nausea and vomiting immediately, mortality in one week. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities, maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. Okay, checked everything. So we rebooted the thing and we can go back upstairs. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. There's probably only one slime monster made of human flesh. Only one, okay? It's gonna be alright. It's happened before. It, it wasn't there before. <gasps> Someone's watching us! Oh, with the cameras? Yeah! Yeah. Let's go see. No. Yeah. Dude, it could be a girlfriend. You don't know. Or a boyfriend. I don't know. He hasn't seen humans in so long. Who knows what his sexuality is. I can't go down. What is that noise? Try again, dude. Oh, he's going to be... All right. I was hoping that, like, maybe we could just make him do it, but... Oh. Me, when I have to do one task outside. I don't want to go down there. It sounds like a tiger or something. Yeah. I wonder if it's in his mind or if it's real. So she's probably going to go down there and all the people who died got radiationed into one pile of flesh that speaks and it goes kill me Blah! so the Hiroshima bomb was 15 kilotons Nagasaki bomb was 21 kilotons they were saying this was a megaton oh my god and a megaton is 1,000 kilotons. So you're talking about a bomb that is uh, six, like 67 times more powerful than, wow, that's huge. Whenever people ask me, ooh, air filtration failed. No, no, no. Oh, that's probably the sound. The air, the air filter's failing. That's why. Radiation detected. Come on, let's bring your army, dude. I need to find an NPC suit. Sorry about the beeping. Sorry. Right, but power doesn't equal more suit. radiation necessarily. Um. They probably restarted it and it made whatever it is break. I need an NPC suit before I can go to level four. Should we? There was not I knew I know that it said NBC. Um How's the game audio? Okay, the bigger the bomb, the more radiation winds up in the upper atmosphere, the less radiation gets onto actual people. Um people ask me why 
when I ask, when I tell people that I'm half Japanese, they're like, oh, do you have any family in Japan? I'm like, no, uh, we're from Hiroshima. They all died in a bomb. Um, let's see. That doesn't count. Back. So, I know that downstairs one of the cabinets said... Oh, I'm scared. Hmm. One of the lockers said the the word suit, so I, get, I think if we just look at all the lockers, it'll be. Um, we'll find one. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, don't be sorry. I. I think everybody's family, someone at some point had something horrible happened. Yeah. I mean, everybody. it's like, yeah. I mean, World War II was, like, such a big thing. Like, my family in Poland was killed by Nazis, but, like, I didn't know them, so. Yeah. It's. So, yeah. and I still have family in Hawaii, because all the people who went from Japan to Hawaii, lucky. So, my Jichan, well. Uh, great grandfather came to Hawaii because his father was like a samurai dude or something and he got in huge gambling debt. So my great grandfather became an indentured servant in order to pay off his father's gambling debt. Luckily, <laughs> guess who stayed in Hiroshima and my great grandfather was in Hawaii? So, you know, sometimes when shitty things happen and you have to do something kind of fucked up, you get lucky. And, uh, and you get to live. And you get to have a whole new life in a new place. And it's not horrible. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's really great that you actually know those things about your family, though, because some people they don't you know that yeah. that history is just lost and mm -hmm. then you don't you never know anything about what those people were like i think um you know when people are like oh white people don't have culture i feel like white people have a lot of culture if you like you know look into it like vikings and ancient druids and stuff i feel like if you want to feel connected there's even people who have been in the united states for a long time and they have like mountain folk culture and stuff yeah i think that part of that though is more like it's not that it doesn't exist it's that you've been disconnected from it yeah either forcibly or for from through immigration and assimilation mm -hmm. and so then like but i also feel like the culture you have in the united states counts because my great-grandfather had to choose in order to, like, choose between Japan and America. So he buried all of his Japanese stuff, and he decided to become fully American. And that was his choice. And so I don't know very much about Japan or Japanese culture as much as I do about Hawaiian culture. And not, and not like, native Hawaiian culture. I mean, like, the mix of all of that. So I grew up with a different understanding of what being Japanese is from an islander rather than from Japan the actual country yeah but I mean like that's why my parent my dad and his siblings were never taught any European languages because even though my grandparents spoke them they didn't even want to teach them to their kids because mm. it was the whole like we're here we're just going to be Americans now that whole thing um, yeah. So I think, like, I know some people say, like, they have no culture, meaning in a different way, but for me, I think what that means is more, like, even if you were to, like, read about things from this the past, suit is gone. you feel disconnected from it. You're not going to have that personal connection that you would have had if you had actually grown up with it because you're only discovering it after the fact as if it belongs to somebody else. You know? I think that trauma is actually a lot more relevant to uh, black people in the United States than 
because I know a lot of people feel really sad about that. And like, okay, so we're old. When I was young, people used to make fun of Kwanzaa, and I'd be like, why? It's a cool thing. And people were making fun of Kwanzaa, but the reason why Kwanzaa was created was because there was like a lost holiday and they wanted to feel connected to something. So it's just like mean to make fun of that, I think. Just let people have a cool thing. I don't know. Mm. Where do you think we should go for, from here? Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3. Caution, Wiltshire. Um, so that he said, uh, the suit's gone. Yeah. But we know that, you know, they're probably in a... Can we... It also might be possible that we have to try this. I don't know. Horrible noise. Yeah, maybe we do have to go downstairs. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't make it better for him. Ada Mant says, I'm black and I don't know anything about my family, so I don't understand why people care so much because I wasn't exposed to the benefits of it, I guess. I kind of agree with that. I think it's like... I don't sit there being like, oh, I'm missing this thing. It's more just like when other people talk about it, I'm like, oh, that's something that, you know. But I think that there's people that do feel that absence much more acutely, you know. I think your culture can be whatever it is that you want. So if you want to be more connected to the your ancestral culture, you know, pursue that. If you don't, then... You know, maybe your culture is more akin to American culture, or or whatever country you're in right now. Yeah, but I think like p where part of that comes up is because different people have a different level of value for cultural history, mm -hmm. and so some people might look at others and say like it's the same thing with like the focus on like family. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, some people, like, they have a very large family. It's very important to them mm -hmm. to have a very extended family, and everyone's very close. Mm -hmm. And in other families, that's just not the case. And so certain people might look at that differently, I guess. Red means scary. Yes. Am I picking one? <laughs> okay. Mr. Churchill, it's an honor, sir. So I'm with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food, and yet the symptoms. I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from, or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. This is so too on the nose. Fix this, you <laughs> understand me. Ah, ah, ah. What's that? Shit. For Christ's sake. That damn brat is a waste of air. Oh, he's gonna try and kill He's us. what the human race has got to look forward to. Do they have a disease? Is that what he thinks it is? Like there's a disease? Or do you think someone's poisoning everyone? I think he thinks someone's poisoning everyone because he said someone's up to something. Mm. But he has, because the thing is, is like you totally could poison everybody. You'd literally have no way to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't test anybody. Awaiting report. Confirmed dead. Confirmed dead. C 
Tom's dead. Confirmed dead. Hey, they might be okay. Awaiting then. report. Yeah, maybe maybe they're okay. Maybe they just didn't want to deal with all our drama anymore. Every time they pick up, and someone's murdering, and they're like, we're fine. Uh, oh, the comms are dead. <laughs> I don't want... <laughs> I always like to imagine when they have these apocalyptic scenarios. They and left us on read. <laughs> <laughs> there's like these apocalyptic scenarios that there's always just one community who's just fine and they're like yeah we just uh we're just not really dramatic people you know i think we have I used seen to pinch these blocks to make my toys sorry i didn't know it would make sound i think from what we've seen from the past few months we can be certain that no bunker would be safe <sighs> At least, I know that that's really pessimistic, but I don't, I just, I don't have faith in the human race whatsoever. Everyone come to the Geek Remix Bunker. Uh, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna play video games. Every time there's a problem, you know, just, just, just play some video games. Mm -hmm. Somebody was trying to kill him. Oh god. Oh god. Where are all the people? They killed each other. Or they died. You know, there might have been like a poison, radiation poison leak, and she probably like took her and her son Where are and the bodies and like ran upstairs and locked the door. In the event of a nuclear radiation leak, the following items are required for complete protection. Uh, clothing, respiratory radiation detector, highest available level of respiratory skin eye and, and eye protection from solid look okay, ensures suit integrity has not been compromised by wear and tear rips or punctures before use, ensure all zips and fastenings are sealed before entering a contaminated area. Also, if you're, I know we've recommended this before, but if you are interested in the whole, like, nuclear aspect this of door this, only opens in an emergency. and you feel that you are in a place to handle watching something that is very dark, Chern the Chernobyl documentary Soldier. is really good. There are some miss, uh, some, there are <clears throat> relatively few. I don't have everything I need. Because it's a docudrama, so it's... Yeah. So they do exaggerate some things, but it's less exaggerated than how it usually is. Why don't you... We don't have our gear. I'm not leaving till I have everything. Okay. Um... I think I have everything now. Yeah. God, can you imagine just being by, like, huh. by yourself? Oh my god. I could be by myself, like, in a cottage in the woods, surrounded by magical animals. With the internet. A, with the internet. And Amazon Prime. Oh no. Yeah, they all ate each other. God, I can't wait. Was it Cube 1 or Cube 2 where the guy was, like, a serial killer eating people for, like... 50 years. I think I've only seen the first one. I'm still upset that they called 
They called cube three. They didn't call it cube cubed. Hmm. Missed opportunity. Cube it. <laughs> call, should have called it cube cubed. Is he having repressed flashbacks? Yes. It was cube two? Okay, cool. Cube two, cuber. <laughs> Just join how far in the game. I think we're like halfway through. I don't cube, know. Cube cubed the cubening. Yeah. Filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95, 1611, checked by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure, readings are a bit high but Frank says no need to replace at the moment, probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor rad than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ. Ooh, I like Fairy Tale Boy Louise's theory. Oh my god, what if this game is just like a recollection of the things he did before his mother died? Like the, the flashbacks? What if he did that? Oh. Filter effectiveness, 0%. Uh-oh, okay, filter says Filter broken or obscured? Obstructed. Obstructed, uh, replace filter immediately. Disconnect pressure at main valve before continuing. Oh, wait. Accident report. Date 12th of August 92. 1910. Filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad levels way too high on output. Over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. I thought it was a duff filter. Tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower thick's duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. But without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You only worry people. Oh, for fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us? Wait, how do we get out? Help! I don't want to read it again. Shoot, can we grab the thingy? Oh. We have to get our friend. Can we get the friend? Yeah, get the friend. The engineer. It fixes all the problems down in the scary levels. Okay, now we can move on. This looks fine.
why does he leave his friends all over the place when he never goes down there? He probably had to run away. I think the implication at certain times has been that he's like been caught like trapping people and like dropping them and So maybe he dropped one down here when he got scared and the engineer put it into the door. And also, uh, he suddenly had to be stuck in a bunker in uh, like two rooms. So he suddenly, like randomly, had to just be stuck in two rooms for the rest of his life so he couldn't go get his toys. It's freaky! I want to know what's outside. Oh, if you guys look like this, you'll like 12 Cloverfield Lane. If you like this uh, game, you'll like that movie, which should be on Netflix, I think. So that, the Mars mockumentary in Europa Report, is your escape from reality for the week. Congratulations! Um... What are we doing? I don't know. I'm just clicking things. Let's see what happens. If we die, we die. This is making me very uneasy. <laughs> What's the... Okay, the clicky thing's doing the thing. Close <sighs> it. We have to replace the filter, but mm -hmm. we don't have a replacement filter. Oh, it's like a really big furnace filter. Uh, no. Uh, oh. Sometimes he talks like salad Oh, figures. are we supposed to put it into the, maybe there? Doesn't he sound like salad fingers? Ah. I need to get rid of the filter, Mr. Cumberbatch. I have a feeling the Mars show will hits differently in quarantine. Well, yeah, a little bit. Why does this creep me out so much? I really don't think any, I think it's just like, <clears throat> <clears throat> like I don't think anyone's gonna, know. oh, he's gonna break his leg and we die on the floor. We gotta leave. So, like, all these rats, they're probably outside, so we can't leave, can we? Yeah. Shit. Bummer. 